back to this backwater of a channel. Today's challenge is the vessel. The Inktober challenge, as you might know, created by Jake Parker in 2009 as a challenge to improve his inking skills and develop positive drawing habits. It has since grown into a worldwide endeavor with thousands of artists taking on the challenge every year, just as I do this year. Again. I love Inktober challenge. I mean, it constantly throws words at me that has multiple meanings and multiple ways to understand it. It is just beautiful that you can make out of it as anything you want. And today we are talking about demons. A marginal experience with, uh, with the craft of uh, with poetic crafts. That means I To be precise, I want to tell you about the, the fact that why it is impossible that a demon can possess a human being. It is widely known that they are dwelling in another plane. Imagine somebody is living under the water and that thing you want to invoke into a circle into a human's body, into a space, it yields the same results as pulling the thing out from underwater, which has a natural habitat underwater, into air. It is suffering for the creature, it is possibly lethal, it depends on the, uh, the characteristics it bears. It is not working. And pulling something out from under the water into thin air, that's a thing. But the human body is a complex machinery. Putting another creature inside a hostile environment, which is your body, technically for them, because it's not their natural habitat, it's not going to work. So yeah. Please enjoy watching Hollywood blockbusters about demonic possessions. Please enjoy watching YouTube videos about alleged possessions recorded with cameras. No, no. Just please, please don't. Thank you for watching my video today. See you in the next video and please don't let demons possess you because it's impossible doesn't matter what Hollywood tells you.